Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of your .NET MAUI tutorial. In this video tutorial, this time I'm going to add uh, multiple uh, controls binding. Uh, you can say that uh, uh, we have uh, a simple demonstration of the uh, uh, complex data binding or you can say that in, in a previous video tutorial you have seen about the complex data binding so and uh, MVVM pattern using the MVVM pattern so here we have a model that is ID title and description we have some pro uh, properties just I want to add some other properties like uh, quantities like is popular and uh, and uh, created date so uh, here we have three other properties uh, in this session just I want to add and I want to bind that property with that uh, with, with the particular control like that just I want to bind uh, is popular uh, with the toggle that is represent a true and false and uh, just I want to bind the quantity with the slider control uh, just I want to bind that date uh, with the date picker control so uh, that is the property just I want to bind it here and you can say that it's a very simple in dotnet maui uh, if you are using uh, mvvm pattern that is very easy so if you are using a, a, a created date so if you are binding that property in your uh, in, in with your control then you can use uh, always use mvvm pattern because it's a good uh, way to design your project okay in the later session i will design uh, a good project uh, in with the whole uh, tutorials with the help of the whole tutorials so uh, this tutorial is actually doing uh, multiple property bindings okay and uh, also we will add a collection view binding okay with the complex data and also we will add some more things about uh, collection view and uh, many other things okay so you can say that in the view model you just add is popular equals to true or you can say that initialize that property in the constructor and that property you can use a public property uh, that is product so a product have is popular that is true quantity is 10 and created date is new date and you can say that uh, <coughs> now you can say created date equals to new date time and you just add the date times uh, locally first of all and after that we will uh, just pick that data from the database table also and you can say that uh, we will use the firebase uh, in this project also and just i'm just i'm going to uh, uh, create a real time application on your for your play store and just i want to uh, show you how to upload maui app on your play store just wait for some times and I will show you okay so here we have some errors and you can say that that error it will be happening due to the semicolons or you can say that uh, here is the source and just I want to match with the destination if you destination have date only then that is not match because Java dot lang dot it is not matched so uh, that will be happening due to that uh, because the product class have a date property only uh, date type only with the created date so just change this and uh, change with the date time and your problem will be resolved easily so uh, just I will change uh, I will change it and uh, you can say that your problem will be resolved okay so everything is fine now uh, your uh, product is ready uh, to show the data on the UI with the help of the controls so uh, in this uh, video just I'm going to add uh, some special control for the property binding that is the slider control so slider is actually used to bind the quantity because that slider is actually bind with the integer types of data basically so uh, slider uh, uh, is a uh, basic properties that is uh, you can say that minimum maximum and the value of the slider will be just I want to bind it so uh, value equals to binding product dot quantity you can say it's a basic thing you can do with the slider control and the next one is uh, the is popular is popular I mean to say that is toggle or is toggle is the property of the switch control so, okay 
and then next uh, one is the date picker control for the binding of the dates so switch is the pro uh, switch is the control to toggle uh, is toggled uh, that is the true and the false that is represent okay so uh, you can say that it's a very 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 important thing to uh, do in your project that is the multiple uh, property binding multiple control binding okay with the mvvm pattern so i will design the project uh, with the help of the code or you can say that just i want to upload that code on your uh, play store also uh, in the future videos okay so wait for some time and then i will do this whole thing uh, with the easy uh, way so here we have uh, date picker date equals to binding product dot created everything is fine now now just go for the next chapter that is <coughs> that is the property binding you can say so that uh, the next chapter is to bind collection view with the complex type of data uh, with using mvvm pattern how to use collection view you know that a collection view have a item source property where collection view bind and a collection view have a data template and inside item template inside the item template you can add a data template a data template have a single data you can say that uh, that is like uh, stack uh, uh, or you can say that collection uh, with the help of the uh, stack layout with the help of the grid layout with the help of another uh, um, collections so you can see so everything is good now run your project and you can see uh, one mobile phone automobile and uh, slider control you can see in the slider control that is the in the middle position because that is the quantity and on or off i by default is on because the property is true and that is the uh, uh, date 7 28 22 Uh, month day and the year so everything is fine <coughs> so uh okay 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 now just go for the next chapter that is the collection view binding just i want to uh, show you how to bind the collection view with the help of mvvm pattern and the complex data binding also and also that product just i want to bind in the collection view uh, because uh, you know that a list of product that i want to show on your phone in your phone so you can use a, a list view as well as the collection view or you can say that the variety of the collection view you can use uh, like a linear layout like a vertical and horizontal layouts in a later session i will uh, solve it okay so for, so first of all this time i'm going to add a collection view uh, with the simple data binding and in inside it you can see uh, here we have a frame in the data template uh, in the data template we have a stack layout okay so stack layout is a collection of controls so inside it here we have a frame so single frame uh, can hold a single data so just i want to add in inside the frame also you can take it that is the stack layout instead of other things so just i want to add uh, the whole uh, product or you can say the single product in a in a frame but before that just i want to add a list of product in in our view model so prop list of product and <coughs> that is the product view or you can say that uh, when we add a collection view in the xml file then you can see that the item source property is actually bind with this product view you can see item source binding product view and the product view is what product view is a um, public property inside your view model okay and that view model is uh, loaded with in your constructor so uh, it's a basic example you can see uh, so uh, here we have a lots of things to say it's a amazing tutorial i will provide you about the maui and the dot net it's related to dot net asp dot net core if you learn many more about asp dot net core with my channel then you can say uh, it's an amazing okay so don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon 
okay so here you can say uh, the product view dot add a new product that is id1 and and data you can add it yourself So everything is ready and now just go for the next section that is uh, just I want to add other properties like slider uh, sorry like quantities like uh, is popular and uh, and your uh, last one is uh, date okay so binding product view data template stack layout and inside the stack layout we have a frame you can say but frame is only ho uh, only collect a single item at a time so here we have a label that is enough but if you add another label inside the frame then mm, that's uh, frame is, uh, occurs a error message that is a multiple control binding is not allowed okay so here we have error message and you can say that mm, if you change anything like the description okay and you will see that that is the error message and what is the error message content is set more than once so uh, frame have only one content or you can say that frame is a control it's not a collection control it's a single uh, uh, control like a button like a label uh, so here we have a uh, frame now the next one is to you can add stack layout inside your uh, frame so you can add a multiple control inside the stack layout but the frame hold a single control that is uh, in the form of the tax that is stack layout so that is the idea behind uh, idea for uh, you if you have so just remove that or you can say okay 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 let's remove all such all things so just control z for the undo okay and you can say binding title <coughs> in description slider everything you can add inside your stack layout like the title description slider and many more so uh, this is the collection view with the help of uh, MVVM pattern you can bind the collection view looking like that and many other things you can just add in the collection view so wait for some times i will uh, i will give you a better better way to uh, design your uh, templates in a such a great uh, ui templates so thank you very much
Now, after bind that property, you can see your output looking like that. So, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to .NET MAUI. And uh, please help me uh, related to your subscription. Uh, if you uh, get more, uh, think about uh, MAUI and ESP.NET Core, and you, if you think that uh, I help you lots, so please subscribe my channel and don't forget, please press the bell icon. Thank you very much.